All right, welcome to Two Squared Gaming. This is Pima Gora. I apologize for the long break that I've taken. Um, yeah, you know, a little, little toasty on some of these games, a little burnt out. Um, I'll eventually go back and finish Super Mario RPG, but right now I'm just kind of not feeling it, if I'm being honest. Um, I was having fun for a while, but when a game becomes a labor to play, it isn't as fun, right? At least that's how I feel. So we'll go back to it eventually, but for now, I'm going to work through some games on my PS4 that I got, um, either PS Plus or relatively cheap, um, and play some of them. So we're going to play this game called Home. Uh, it looked fun. It looked like a little 8-bit style game. A unique horror adventure by Benjamin Rivers. So we are going to play Home. Your game is saved automatically. I recommend you put aside an hour and a half and complete Home in a single sitting. That's good to know. So we got like three episodes, four episodes out of this thing. It's awesome. Here we go. We're going to play Home. Turn up the sound, turn off the lights. Well, it's the middle of the day, so the lights are off because my window's open, and the sound is up, so this is going to be great. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh, oh my head, where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet, a uh, flashlight. That house, where was I? There was a body lying on the floor. Oh, who was it? A kitty. There was a kitty. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did it hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home and seeing Rachel. I was upset, and she looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew that I should head downstairs to try and find a way out. A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but exhausted. Did I free it? Yeah, I will. There are so many doors. Okay. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. Well, that's not... not pleasing. Uh... I'm gonna keep exploring, I guess. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. A black and white photo. Looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep it. Do I take it? No. I figured this was no help to me, so I, I left it behind. I take what I don't need, huh? I think I should have explored upstairs a little bit better. I'm good. I'm going to go back upstairs. Okay, I knew about the body. I went down there. There's a drip. Hmm. A computer. The desk had a computer and some papers on it and a single drawer I didn't want to snoop. Did I open the drawer? Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo. Looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? Okay. Oh, I can look up. Didn't even realize I could look up. Interesting. Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. Click, clack, click, clack. Can't look at that. Okay, I can't look at that. It's very, very simplistic, which I like. Okay, there's the body. Go back out the way I came. Okay, so this is the start. So I think I've, I've hit up on everything. We're good. Down to the basement I go. Click, click. Um, I already went that way. That drip was over here, I think. I want to be able to look up at that if I can. 
Oh, here we go. A collection of rusty tools. These look like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in damp, smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Do I push the switch? Silly question. I depressed it depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Click click. Out of here we go. Down to the basement I go. Okay. Ooh, that was loud. The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guess it led to the kitchen. The switch in the wall appeared to have unlocked the door. Nice. So I gotta look at everything. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I'd found a way out. Uh, I must have moved it, right? I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. Ooh, a ladder. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that ladder, though. Gotta, gotta look at everything. There were sheets of paper all over the kitchen table. It looked like a series of names were written down, but they were too smudged to read. I could only make out a few of the notes. Keycard. Ochre. Last one, I promise. It didn't make much sense at the time. Cause and effect. Mmm, trophy. It's probably because, uh, that mouse. Okay. Let's head this way. Ooh, mirror. I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. The bathroom was incredibly clean. Every surface had been thoroughly wiped, and nothing seemed out of place. There's a photo development tray laying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they're pretty blurry. I thought I saw it look like treetops. How interesting. The front door is blocked by a pile of furniture. I know how to find another way out. Okay, so we're stuck there. In to the ladder I go. Down we go. There's a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Well, I kind of have to at this point. My leg hurt like hell as I climbed down that ladder. The tunnel below was even darker and the smell wasn't getting any better. But I had to get out of there and find my way home. Yep, stuff on the ground. Footprints in the dirt look more like looked like more than one kind in a lot of traffic. Hmm. Places all over were marked on the old map of town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail house rail station. The guy upstairs stairs must have done this, but what was his interest in the water tower? Some of the markings match the scribbles I saw on the bookshelf upstairs. Newspaper clippings from a local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. They were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell's that about? Maybe I should have looked around more. Tried to find some kind of information. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Oh, I'm taking the gun. I tucked the small handgun in my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. Another ladder? It was so dark down there and the air smelt stale and putrid. Couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? Here we go this way first. The desk looked old and was caked with grime. It was on a stack of old, faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. He, if, a, he, o, r, alf, o, ro. None of it made any sense to me. Okay, there's a door there, so I'm going to come back this way. Some kind of homemade rack slung together poorly cut wooden rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? Oh, rusted hooks like the kind you find in a butcher hung from the ceiling. They looked pitted and worn from heavy use. That man upstairs, did he do this? And crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. Oh, fuck, another ladder. I need to go back up. That's not what I wanted to do. Come on. It fooled me. It looked like a cage? It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Okay, I'm gonna go in that door over there, then come back to this ladder. 
Oh, on the ground. There look to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. Who put them here? Okay, well, that was it. I could have done that earlier. Cool. <clears throat> into the ladder I go. Okay, nothing that way. What do we got? Some kind of old boxes. They look like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remember throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing here? There wasn't anyone there. Was I hearing things? Bunch of bats. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. Good thing I just walk over the broken ladder. Go in here, see what's up. There's a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yeah, silly question. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. The fuck? I have the rope now. There must have been a use for it around somewhere. I didn't get to, like, hear that fully. Just try it again. Hmm. How interesting. The rope I found would have let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yeah. I could hear a faint hum. And the smell from before started to get worse. A bunch of old newspapers. Wheat pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out. Danger to cave in. Mama keep moving then. Ooh. I can still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. I was probably sure the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. If I could have, though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep such a place? At least I thought I had found that old handgun. It, it seemed to work, and from the smell of it, it had already been used. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. Ooh, okay. Explosive ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through there, but it was so high up that it must have been a sore landing. Probably me. There's dirt on the ground and it looked wet. There's grass smeared within it. Ooh, okay. I could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? There's an exit. I gotta keep exploring. A kitchen knife covered in dry and blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take it? Yes. I slipped a knife in my boot since I had the gun in my pocket. Did I really need all of this? More doors? Okay, well, I know there's an exit there. I'll go here and go up the ladder and see what's up. Disgusting. It was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. It looked like an old videotape was sticking out. Did I take the tape? Yeah. I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with the tape, but I took it anyway. Mm, cool, okay. You know, I'm probably pulling myself in by not taking this exit door, or exit door, but I'm going to keep going. The door is locked. There's a musty smell from the inside. That loud bang was, was loud. I wasn't sure, but I thought this was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Yeah. Duh. Duh. I wasn't sure what those owls were for. Yep. We're turning them. Three, four in here. Yep. Always turn it. Because why not? Just, it makes sense to me. So scalding hot water is flooding out, and I die. Still locked, okay. Back how we go. So it didn't mess with it and getting to that door. Cool. 
There's a rusty ladder sunk into the water, which smelled disgusting. I knew I couldn't climb down. Uh, maybe I can find a way to drain the putrid water. Oh. So I literally fucked myself by turning all of those valves on. Okay. So I'll go all the way to the end and then come make my way back in. How fun. Okay. At least I assume. Okay, I've turned off all the water flow. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so they were already... It's like there was like a pattern that I missed. Okay, so the water should be good now. Or so I would imagine. Nope. How do I... Oh, I forgot to turn that off. Cody's online. That's cool. How do I turn that off? Hmm. Puzzle. Something with the regulator, maybe? Through dust, I could see him. It's from previous use. Probably from whoever worked in these sewers. That's not helpful. Okay, so the water's off in that room. Hmm. It's like a matter of keeping, keep checking, I guess. So I did two, then three that time. See if it changes anything. Nope, there's still water. How do, how do? Leave that valve alone, and then go turn three off. Let's see if that'll stop the water. Let's see what happens. Nope, still water. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Door is locked. Yep. Oh, maybe it's the pipe colors. That would be simple, right? Mm -hmm. well, I can't see. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, I can't see the... the yeah, there's two different color pipes in there, so... We know one's already off. Yes, turn it off. There's no more, right? Nope. Oh, there's stuff here. I wonder if those are diagrams I'm supposed to be using. You know, this is tricky, tricky. I think I've tried every combo I could here. Still water. Hmm. Is there anything this way that I missed? Yep, can't go up there. Hmm. Puzzle, puzzle, how to. As Derek does, I'm going to hit up the Google. Let's 
see what I can see what I can find here. Cause this is a little bit of a struggle here. I'm trying to figure this one out. That's a review, not a walkthrough. That's dumb. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Oh, there we go. You just got to keep turning it. That seems so logical, but it, it clearly wasn't for me. Okay, so all the water should be off now. So I hope. There we go. Look at that. Looked like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. And there's a small little key floating in the shallow pool of rancid water. Of course you take it. I'm gonna go back up to the kitchen. Or not the kitchen. I've already been in the kitchen. I'm gonna go in that door. See if it'll open it. Damn. It was worth a shot. You just kind of assume, right? You think it's going to happen. Okay. We're going to keep moving then. The, safest po the safety poster. I've definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? The door was locked. I could see a faint light within. Hmm, I just want to know like what this place is. A door here. I found another dead body. A sewer worker. By the wounds all over his face, I figured he'd been stabbed repeatedly. There's a key ring sticking out of the man's pocket. Of course you take it. I thought about the knife I had found some disgust as I carefully picked up the keys from his pocket. I was almost worried he was gonna grab me. There's a security camera in the room. There must have been a way to see what had happened. Maybe the VHS tape I found could be useful. Mm -hmm. But can I go back anywhere now that I have that key ring? There's a hint of fresh air here. It must have been near an exit, but I wondered, what did that key I found on the sewer worker do, and what was on the videotape I found? This must have been the other end of that ventilation shaft. Whoever used it could have gotten past that flooded room with this. I made my way up the ladder as best I could on my leg. Would I really need that gun or that knife before the end? I wonder what was on that VHS, VHS tape I found in that locked room. Should I have gone back to check? My head was buzzing with questions and tired thoughts as I ascended the ladder. Suddenly, as I lifted the heavy lid above me, I could smell fresh old pine trees. <gasps> Can I not go back? Oh, I can't. Okay. I was leaving me above ground again. Figured I should keep moving. No! I can't go back! I fucked up! I fucked up! Okay, well, I am... Outside, so I think that now that I'm out of that building, it makes the most sense for me to end this episode here of home. I've made it through some sewers and some disgust. I have a bunch of stuff that I'll never get to know about because it won't let me go back in the sewer. That's my fault, though. So, uh, in the meantime, we'll see you in the next episode. This has been Pimagora. Bye bye. <laughs>